finally we're going to get to play somebody. Just talk about what uh, you know, playing Benedict, which is obviously just right down the road, and how important it is to bring that uh, that school into this, uh, this area. Well, Benedict's been trying to play us for for a few years now. And, um, uh, fortunately, it worked out for both of us this year. Um, they've been pretty successful. Um, so what we're hoping is to uh, play a different, you know, a different body, some different bodies. Uh, we've been going at it. Uh, it's our 22nd practice today. So, you know, hopefully uh, with a little competition, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll rise to that challenge. Are you treating it like a normal game, uh, you know, scouting, all that type of stuff? Um, we're, we're, you're treating it like a normal game because our, our newcomers need to know what that feels like to, to prep for it. We don't have a whole lot of information on it, on Benedict, because they, they lost a lot of their, their players. So we got to do the best that we can. How different is this team? And is it difficult to coach a, a team that really hasn't played many games? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very different team. Um, so we're, we're just work. I mean, I, you know, seven of them are new, seven of them, you know, you know, we really haven't coached a whole lot as far as preparation for a season. Um, they don't know each other. They don't know their tendencies and prepping for a game and prepping for a season. So um, everything seems like uh, everything seems a little unorganized. And, you know, there's not a whole you know, lot of fluidity from an offensive standpoint because, um, you know, part of it is some people waiting for other people to do things. And we, you know, it's, 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 once we get some games under our belts, we'll, we'll see exactly, uh, you know, some of that stuff work itself out. Don't just look at like, the offensive and defensive playbooks as a whole. How much would you estimate each of those has been put in? By um, uh, quite a bit's been put in. You know, execution is, is, is a different story. Um, because we're, we're getting to know one another. They're getting to know one another. Uh, and, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully it gets better within the next week or so. But if it doesn't, you know, we have time. The season is a long season and uh, we, you know, we got to, we got to gel a little bit better than we're, we're gelling. But we, there's a reason why we're not. And that's, sure. that's because we got seven new players. Do you have a probable starting time for the exhibition? Um, I mean, we're still working through it. We'll start work, working through it. Um, but it's probably what was what's, what's been out there. <laughs> <laughs> How's Bianca doing taking over that point guard? Uh, she's such a great leader and yeah. floor general. How's she coming along? She's actually she's put together some nice practices. You know she's um, um, she's looking like she she's able to run our team. You know, and you know it's it's good that she's you know building confidence. It's just the moment that we feel a little strife is when she's going to be really tested to see. Um, you know where she ends up, but you know I think we got we're, we're solid in that department where you know we got different looks. We got Bianca, we got you know Ty Harris, we got uh, Ariane Bradshaw. So we got some different looks, um, and they're they're very very competitive, and you know they're pushing each other. So the reason why Bianca looks so much better is because she's being pushed by so many other people in her position. You know, the top 25 came out yesterday. Y'all are number four, kind of where you're used to being in that top five spot. How much did you pay attention to it? opponents that are in the top 25? Um, probably pay more attention to the opponents than, than, than where we are. I mean, I don't know. I mean, on, on, on paper, I think we're a good basketball team. Um, but you got to factor in that we're, you know, we're not a cohesive group right now. Um, so I think that's, predic you know, that rank is predicated on who's on the roster. Um, you know, but I mean, it's good for our program to be, you know, in that number. Um, I mean, we got to live up to our expectations, though. Don, does Bianca fight the battle of playing how she needs to play here versus how she played growing up? Um, I think if her first two years, mm -hmm. I think she she struggled with, you know, being the Bianca from, you know, from the Bronx, um, versus, you know, being Bianca and adding what she needs to run our team. Um, but I think it's all coming together. Usually, you know, by the time you you hit your junior year. You know, you see things a little bit differently than you did. Um, you know, but I, th I think she's at a good place where where she's, you know, understanding, you know, how to play fast to slow and to fast, and and understanding the changes of pace that she needs to play. And once she gets that under control, she's going to be really, you know, a hard guard to stop. Are there any parallels to Khadija in, in that Khadija came here as a scorer and had to kind of learn a new role? As she had to go, are there any similarities there? Um. No, because we, we, we basically told Khadija just, 
kind of, she, you were the fifth option. You know, Bianca really isn't the fifth option. She has the ball in her hands, and we want her to play off what she, what she normally does, um, which is play fast. If she's got an opportunity to create numbers, you know, let's play. Let's play off what you do, your instincts. Um, you know, Khadija probably came in with a little bit more um, point guard uh, intangibles. Yeah. Um, so we're, you know, Bianca's learning those things. How important is this game, even though it's an exhibition game against Benedict before going on the road against Ohio State, a top three program? I, I think it's important for a lot of reasons. Some of these players haven't played in front of, you know, thousands of fans that we'll probably have. So it's good to get their feet wet when it comes to that. It's good that we, you know, we play together um, as a unit to see what the identity of this team will be. Um, I mean, it, and it's good just to have, you know, some different competition than, you know, than Garnet and Black. Anything else for Coach? Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.